The young Yankee hopefuls are at the Yankees minor league complex learning how to conduct themselves both on and off the field. There is a certain standard that the organization sets for the prospects, and now we learn all about it. When you wear that NY and you work uh, for this franchise, the players being able to put on the pinstripes, those of us in the office that, uh, uh, that, that get to say that we are associated with this franchise, it is, it is powerful and there's a lot of meaning behind it. In fact, we'll have scouts and other development personnel uh, come in and talk about how differently they're treated once they, uh, once they step over the lines and, and work for the Yankees as opposed to maybe working for another club. And I think our players feel that. Really, uh, I can't put into words how, how much it means to be part of success. Being a Yankee requires a certain standard of conduct, from how a player presents himself to how he goes about his business both on and off the field. The players must follow certain rules put in place when George Steinbrenner bought the team in the mid-70s. It's one of those things that everybody's done in the past, you got to do it now. There's, there's, we're not going to change any rules. Um, I, I personally don't have a problem. I don't really grow too much facial hair, honestly, but uh, it's definitely disciplined. Um, to get the, 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 especially the young guys that don't understand it right right now, but they they will as they, they get older. That this is this is something that's gone on for years. It's uh, we're not the first people that they're bringing these rules to. This has been like this for good. I, I couldn't even tell you how long, but it's it's uh, it's definitely a little bit of a change. But you know, it's it's nothing that you don't you don't deal with in everyday day to day life. You have to adapt to it. I feel like um, I came from high school, and you know, it was a lot of things were new for me. You know, uh, how they wanted us, you know, to to be on the field, off the field, um, wh whatever they wanted us to do. Really, you know, you gotta, you have to do it. I love doing what I do, and I'm, I'm just happy to be here. The workouts in the Yankees Instructional League are regimented, and the staff means business when trying to mold the players into major leaguers, and more importantly, into Yankees. It goes everywhere from, you know, our schedule to, you know, how strict we are on, on time stuff. I mean, we, we must have hundreds of guys out here, and, you know, everyone is always doing something. Everyone is always working. Stations are always moving, and, um, I mean, you, you always leave here um, feeling like you got something done. They, they train us here to, to win, and there's no, good, no greater feeling to me than to winning a championship no matter what, what league you're in. The players are groomed and taught how to be professionals from the moment they step foot onto the minor league complex. It's similar to being a parent. You know, you have certain rules in your house, and then when your son, daughter gets to be 18 years old and they're kind of an adult and on their own, you, 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 you let them uh, do some things that they, uh, that they like to do on their own. And it's sort of the same principle, I guess, in the minor leagues. You, know, you have to earn the stripes. You have to earn the right to put your pants down. You have to earn the right to wear uh, certain things on your uniform, and we want to uh, give these guys some aspirations and goals to reach the big league and have some motivation for them and I think that's just a small thing. The other part is uh, it's easier to manage when you have 160 kids and, and you want to treat them all uh, equally, you want to treat them all fairly and so that's that's why we instill some of those principles in the minor leagues and a lot of that stuff came from Mr. Steinbrenner and the, the fact that this is a story and historic franchise and we want to uphold the, uh, uh, the, the trademark of the Yankee brand.